Good day, fellow investors. Another stock down 40% is Booking, which has a moat. It's a very interesting business in the new digital era. So let's take a look. Thanks for your comment. So the position, a lot of super investors have very interesting long-term perspective. So let's check it out. I always appreciate your suggestions. Please put the name, explain the business, discuss the risk and reward catalyst so that we can all get value. Also the other readers on the comments, don't just put Sven analyze this and then be gone. Let's look at the super investors. So on stock circle, we have Ken Griffin there with 142 million. Others, Ray Dalio is there. If I slide to the right, we have Jeremy Grantham, Stanley Druckenmiller, Ken Fisher, Joel Greenblatt. So a lot of investors there, but the money isn't that much. So something to keep in mind when it comes to them. And then you never know when they bought. Maybe they bought when the company was founded 20 years with 100,000 or something like that. Nevertheless, let's take a look at the stock price. The stock price is, with all the digital developments and everything, is where it was five years ago, which is staggering. There were some issues, of course, during the pandemic, then it boomed and now it's down again. So very, very volatile. And we have to find the source of that volatility. Market cap 66 billion, which makes it interesting from a perspective because the capacity to make money was 5 billion already a few years ago. That's a P ratio of 10. What does it do? Of course, booking.com, I use it, you probably use it, then have other online platforms that are for tourism and everything. Let's look a little bit at the numbers. So growing three times over the last 10 years, the gross profit also in line, three times growth there, but operating income has not increased three times or better to say has declined a little bit compared to the revenues, which also leads to lower net income. So yes, 2019, they made 5 billion in net income, great, but on equal revenues, they have made now just 1.5. Will they be able to increase margins and get back to these levels that is the key question. If they manage to do it, then that is a great investment and will likely do well. Earnings per share, again, more than 180, so really doing good. Now that has declined significantly. If we look at future growth rates, when it comes to growth stock, it's all about future growth. The expected growth is 9% to 2030 of online bookings, 14% for the next four or five years. Of course, these projections are always extremely exuberant, but help in making evaluation. So we have 2019 earnings, we have 2022 earnings, big difference, and we have growth rates ahead, let's say 10% on an average conservative basis. And we will compare that to the current market cap of 66 billion. To make a valuation, I will use the template that you can download in the description below alongside many other businesses that we have analyzed in the past. We have here the template and let's start here. Input per share. Let's put 2019 earnings, 5 billion. They don't pay a dividend, no buybacks. Likely everything will be reinvested in growth. So I delayed here the present value of those earnings and cash flows year per year. It's all on a valuation basis. And if they grow from that basis, 8% ahead per year, if I get a terminal multiple of 15 and I expect a return of 10% long term for my investment, the intrinsic value is 57 billion, which is close to the current value. So if they return to the previous profitability, it is for a 10% return. But if they don't return to the previous profitability, if I put here 2 billion, then there is still room for 60% down despite the growth rates. And at some point those growth rates will stabilize. And then you have an investment that is a high risk investment. And that is the risk and reward. Of course, you can download this, have a go, play around and see about how to value a business for the long term. I don't know whether they will reach 5 billion. The competition is increasing. I just went on booking last week 
and book something, then ask my money back because I found it 15% cheaper going directly to the hotel. It was a significant amount, so I prefer doing it directly with the hotel despite the easiness of doing things with booking. And therefore, I always think it's a high competition environment, which means that it will always be a margin issue. Yes, you have your moat, you have your everything, you have a nice mapping, but for how long will that last? Google now already pops out whenever you just search in Google Maps, you have the possibility to book from there. So a lot of risks there. And therefore, when there are a lot of risks, uh, if we go for growth stocks and competition, at the P ratio of 18, if I look at the 2 billion from booking, then the P ratio is 30 and the uh, likely growth ahead similar to Google. So I will simply stick to Google here and not follow booking. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.